All right, what's going on, man? Can you uh, introduce yourself to the people for us? Yeah, man, JB Mac. You know what I'm saying? West Oakland, Ghost Town. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I mean, you know, I'm artist, rap artist, um, but artist most definitely. Um, I'm from Oakland, California, 29, finna be 30 in October. Um, yeah, I got like <laughs> six kids, <laughs> you feel me? But yeah. Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. So, uh, how was your childhood? Where'd you growing up at? Uh, I grew up in West Oakland, um, in the 30s, ghost town, you feel me? Um, growing up, I mean, you know, I don't know about everybody else. I'm, I'm the only child, but, but I had it rough though, you feel me? Like, you know, mom's on drugs and shit, like, you feel me? Living pillar to post group homes and shit, you know, that type of lifestyle, you feel me? Okay, did you uh, have any siblings growing up? No, nah, I'm the only child by my mom. I got brothers and sisters. My, my dad got other kids, you feel me? But I'm the only child by my mom, though. Okay, okay, so what schools was you going to? Um, I mean, I went to middle school and shit. I dropped out in middle school, though, like in seventh grade. You feel me? I didn't really go to high school, but, um, I went to Cole Middle School, you feel me? Like, I went to uh, Piedmont Elementary, you feel me? I went there with uh, Filthy Rich, little brother J Bay, you feel me? I went to Piedmont with that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I didn't really go to high school, though. I dropped out. Why'd you drop out in middle school? Um, I was back and forth to Juvenile Hall and shit, and, uh, catching cases, going to group homes and shit, so I was just on the run a lot, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. So when you was in school, was you doing any sports or anything? Um, I played football. It wasn't in school though. I was um, I was playing football for Pop Warner in, uh, in Antioch, and then um, when I stayed, I stayed on the East Coast for a while too, and I played football out there for a minute too. Pop okay. Warner though. That's what's up. So can you kind of explain to us when you started to get into the music? Um, the music always been in me, man, since a little nigga, you feel me? Since forever, but I really started getting serious with this shit like two, three years ago, you feel me? Like, really trying to, um, you know, p posting my music on, on, on the on the sites and shit, and DistroKid, and TuneCore, all that little shit, you feel me? Trying to get the paperwork right, all that little shit, really getting the, 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 doing the real shit instead of just putting out music. You remember uh, when you started first writing music? I was probably like eight years old, nine, ten years old around that time. I really started writing music. Like I've been writing since a kid, poetry, all type of shit. Yeah. All right. When was the first time you was in the booth? My first time getting in the booth. We had this studio in the hood. You feel me? Um, this OG stayed in the hood named Rail. You feel me? He had a studio in the hood. And, um, my nigga Bruce Ladden, RP Bruce Ladden, that nigga brought me into the studio. That was my first time really recording on a real microphone and shit in a real studio, you feel me? And then I was like 15, 16 at the time. Then I wanted to take it serious, but a nigga was too wrapped up in the street shit, you feel me? Selling drugs and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga couldn't really focus on going to the studio. They had a little rec center too, you feel me, that we used to go to in the hood, in the West, you feel me? And um, I used to go record there and shit too. People like like people from the hood used to slap some of our old songs and shit, like <laughs> that shit, but yeah. That's yeah. what's up, so who was you listening to growing up? Man, Gucci Man, Plies, Boosie, Wayne, you feel me? Um, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it right there. The trap niggas, T.I., you know, shit like that. Okay, cool. I'm surprised you didn't say no. Uh, Bay niggas, a lot of people that. I didn't really. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I didn't really grow up. Oh, Mac Dre, Mac Dre. I'm, I'm Mac Dre. I grew up listening to Mac Dre, but I'm gonna keep it real. I didn't really grow up listening to too much uh, E40 and Too Short and shit like. The OGs played that shit, you know what I'm saying? But I, like me myself, I wouldn't go look, look, look none of that shit. No disrespect to them niggas though, you feel me? But that just wasn't what I came up listening to, you feel me? 
Mac Dre for sure though. I for sure grew up listening to Mac Dre though. How you feel like the music scene is out here in the Bay Area and say? Um It's a lot of talent out here, bro. It's a lot of talent, bro. You feel me? But politics fuck it all up, bro. Politics fuck it all up, bro. You feel me? Like street politics, you feel me? And, and music politics, there's both. You feel me? There's street politics, you know what I mean? When niggas trying to, um, with, with gangs, affiliation and shit, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And then there's music politics, the, the higher ups, the niggas who, who hold the keys to this shit, you feel me? They play politics too, you know what I'm saying? So you think politics is serious in the music industry? Definitely. Definitely, from from underground to to mainstream, politics is, is, is you know plays a part in music. Definitely. Can you explain to the people that don't know what politics are? I mean, it depends on what type of politics you're talking about. You talking about the street politics or music politics? You could break down both. Okay, street politics. You feel me? As far as like, let's say like a rapper from this city. You feel me? And a rapper from this city. You know what I'm saying? Um, they do songs together, function with each other, you feel me? And because they do songs together and function with each other, that rapper from that other city is not gonna do songs with, the, with, with a rapper from the same city as the other rapper, I, I, if, if y'all can understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like if I'm from over here and I'm a certain gang and I do a song with a rapper and he from over here and he a certain gang, he, you know, they not gonna do songs with my ops, you know what I'm saying? And, and, I feel like I feel like I, I understand that niggas don't want to cross game, but at the same time, it's like you ain't if if you ain't got nothing to do with that, you know what I'm saying? Like don't don't put yourself in that. You feel me? Like keep that shit in the streets. You feel me? Because then you involve yourself in shit, you know. And then it's like 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 yeah, that's basically it. You feel me? When niggas start doing songs with each other, start clicking up with each other, you feel me? Niggas niggas feel like oh, since I fuck with bro, I can't fuck with them niggas over there. You feel me? I can't do songs with them niggas over there because that's his ops. Like that's his ops, nigga. Them not your ops. You feel me? But you know, niggas get this shit fucked up. I don't know. How you feel when fans try to involve themselves in the politics? Um. I mean, if at the end of the day, you know, it be the fans who, who, who run the politics, you know what I'm saying? It's the niggas that, who don't rap that be, that be, you know what I'm saying, setting these guidelines and these rules and, these, and, and, these, and clicking up, you know what I'm saying, you know, doing this little shit, you feel me? It be the niggas who don't rap, you feel me? The rappers just follow suit, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So let's talk about your song, Another Time. Break that one down for us. Oh uh, yeah, man. Uh, my, I just dropped a, a video to it another time. Future in Southside, Titus. He from San Jose, you feel me? That's my nigga, I've been knowing him before this rap shit, you feel me? Free that nigga, by the way, you feel me? But um, yeah, that's out right now. Daily Slabs doing numbers, you feel me? Yeah, another time. All right. So Produced by Smacks, shot by 4K Bay TV, you feel me? Yeah, go check that out though. All right, so we're going to bring you back to the West Oakland Anthem. Oh, yeah, man. Um, that was a real alley-oop from the OGs, you feel me, from both sides. You feel me? Niggas put the politics to the side. You feel me? Some, some OGs from my side, from, some OGs from the, from, from the other side of the West, you feel me? Came together, you feel me? And, and, and you know, put that shit together, and you feel me? And, and niggas grabbed me and was like, man, you know, since you... One of the main niggas from, from, from the section that's putting on, you feel me? I feel like you should be on this, you feel me? Shout out to the nephew, you know what I'm saying? Big Five. Big Five gave that alley-oop, you feel me? And yeah, that shit was, that, that was legendary. I'm glad they even got me on there, man. Real West Oakland shit, for real. How was that feeling for you when you had, uh, when that play finally fell through? Man, that made me feel good. It made me feel like like embedded in, in, in the history of West Oakland, you feel me? And that's, that's the whole, that's one of my goals in this music shit in general, bro, is to is to leave a legacy. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't wanna just be known as the next rapper. Like I wanna I wanna have a history. I want motherfuckers to know like, oh yeah, JB Mac, you feel me? Like he was one of them ones, you know? And I feel like that was a milestone for that, definitely. You know, niggas gonna always know, like, I put on for West Oakland. You feel me? For the whole West, you feel me? 
Facts, facts. So you got any projects or singles that we should be on the lookout for coming out? Yeah, man. I got I got a lot of unreleased shit. You feel me? I got shit with Lil Bud, shit with Sally Rue, uh, Lil Goofy. Um, I got a lot of shit, man. Yeah, I got. Um, I just dropped a, a, a free mixtape called um, uh, the G Mix. You feel me? It's on my mixtapes right now. You feel me? Bunch of remixes and shit. I'm about to shoot videos to that. You feel me? But I got another project called Ghetto King on the way. You feel me? But in the meantime, I got heated up out. That's already out. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of more projects on the way. A lot of more work on the way. Especially this year. I'm trying to do as much as I can this year. You feel me? It's the last year of my 20s. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get it in. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be big 30 in a minute. You know? That part. That part. So... You got any uh, last thoughts you want to leave off with your fans that's watching you right now? Um, yeah, most definitely, man. Look, you feel me? Don't let the politics get you stuck in a box. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm one of them niggas where the politics got me stuck in a box. So I'm telling you this from the box. You feel me? Like, don't let the politics get you stuck in a box, bro. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you from where you from, that's cool, but. Fuck with who you want to fuck with. Support who you want to support and who support you, man. Be a real nigga. You feel me? Don't let the politics, you know what I'm saying, let you dictate how you maneuver out here, man. Fuck them niggas, man. Do you. That's all. And where can we follow you on your social medias? JBMag31 on Instagram. Uh, I don't got Twitter and shit, you feel me? But yeah, on Insta, JBMag31. You feel me? Subscribe to me on YouTube, JBMag TV. Yeah. And where can we find your music? On YouTube, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere. JB Mac, M A C K. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to R Block, too. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I, this is this a, um, a group from Oakland where they really, it's Bay Area based. You feel me? And, and we just pushing unity. You know what I'm saying? Part of that uh, fuck the politics. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know? It don't matter where you're from, man. You, you know? Real niggas everywhere. But yeah, shout out to R Block for sure. Uh -huh.